To politics now, all eyes are on Alabama. Two hours until the polls close there, and a special election that's captured national attention. Voters in the reliably, reliably Republican state are deciding who will be their next senator, Republican Roy Moore or Democrat Doug Jones. CBS 2's Mola Lange has more now from Montgomery, Alabama. Alabama voters flock to the polls Tuesday to choose their next senator. What's your sense of how this, this election, how it might go? Oh, you know, it's going to go more. So I would say by a big margin. I hope that Doug Jones wins. I hope that we get a larger turnout. Democrat Doug Jones is facing Republican Roy Moore. Moore was heavily favored in this red state until multiple women revealed decades-old sexual misconduct allegations. I am voting for Mr. Moore, okay. but I am not a huge supporter, would not have voted for him. I just don't like the heavy um, influence of outside media. Cameras were there to meet Moore when he dismounted his horse at his polling place in Gallant. This is a very important race for our country, for our state. The anti-establishment Christian conservative has the support of President Trump, who tweeted, Jones is a Pelosi-Schumer puppet. Roy Moore will always vote with us. Vote Roy Moore. This is where Moore plans to hold his victory party tonight. Political watchers say voter turnout will determine who will head to Washington. The Jones camp worked to get African Americans to the polls and to win over some Republicans. This is an important time in Alabama's history, and we feel very confident of where we are and, and, and how this is going to turn out. Jones supporter Mike Martin thought his candidate could prevail. It's better to be scary and optimistic than scared and fatalistic. Alabama hasn't elected a Democrat to the Senate in 25 years. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Montgomery, Alabama. Mola, thank you. This special election will fill the seat previously held by Jeff Sessions, who, as you know, is serving as attorney general.